Okay, so we have an example over here of a loan of 47,000 is secured at an interest rate of 13% per annum compounded annually and will be paid back in equal monthly payments over three years. And it says calculate the value of the payments. So once again, these examples are just for how you input them into your financial calculator. So let's just jump right in by writing down what we know. So it's a loan of 47,000. So we have our PV is equal to 47,000. And that's an inflow of money to us because it's the loan money is given to us to use. And it's secured at an interest rate of 13% per annum compounded annually. So its nominal interest is 13% per annum compounded annually, which means in our financial calculator, we put in the nominal interest rate. So we have IY is equal to 13. But we can also indicate from this what our CY is going to be. So our CY, our compounding periods, are 1 because it's compounded annually. And it will be paid back in equal monthly payments over three years. Now, the equal monthly payments indicates what our PY is going to be. It's going to be monthly, so that's 12. And then it's over three years. So we have N is equal to three years. But our N needs to correspond, and let's just remind you about that, our units of N and our PY need to correspond with each other. That means our N must be multiplied by 12 to give us months. So that's going to be 36 months. So a reminder on your financial calculator, when you're inputting all your information, your N units need to correspond with your payment periods. Okay, and then it says, calculate the value of the payments. So the PMT here is the unknown. Now, one thing to note here is you're paying off this loan, which means your future value is equal to zero. You don't have to put it in on your financial calculator, but it's just nice for you to acknowledge what it is, just so that you can just make sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the recipe for the financial calculator. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say second function, CA. Why? Because we want to clear out any of the residual information from our previous calculations so it doesn't impact our current one. Then we are going to enter our payment periods and our compounding periods. So in this case, it is a complex annuity because the payment periods and the compounding periods are different. So we're going to have the second function, PY, and that is equal to 12. And we're going to say enter. Then we're going to have to push down. And right now your CY is going to display as one, uh, as 12. We want it to display as one. So we're going to update it with one and enter. And then we're going to clear our screen to get ready for inputting all our information. So stage through two is always inputting your payment periods and your compounding periods. Now we are going to input everything else that we know. So we have the 47,000 Rand PV. We have the 13 IY. We have the 36 N. And remember the N has to be the same units as your payment periods. And then we're just gonna say compute our PMT. We could have put down zero FV, but if we cleared our information correctly, the default value is zero anyway. Now, what's going to happen is on your screen, it's going to come up as minus 156.46. And that means that the monthly payments are going to be 1,567 Rand and 46 cents. Okay, so we are first going to clear our information. So it's second function CA. Then we're going to put in our payment period. So it is monthly payments. So it's second function PY 12 and enter. Then we're going to push down and we're going to enter our compounding periods. So in this case, it's compounded annually. So it's one and enter. And then we're going to clear our screen. Then we're going to put in the information that we know. So the information that we know is 47,000 Rand PV and it's positive because it's an 
inflow of money. The loan is coming to us. The money is coming to us for the loan. Then we have 13% the nominal interest. So 13 IY. And then we're going to have, it's over three years, but the years need to be in the same units as the monthly payments. So it's three times 12, which is the 36 months. What we're going to do here, we're going to say three times 12 N. And now we can compute the payments. So compute PM. And there you go. Our answer is 1567.46. And it's negative because we're going to make those payments. 13 